What is going on right now with the District Kid and YouTube official artist channel situation? I've gotten so many comments and messages and DMs from people saying, hey Mark, my music's now on here, my music's now here, my music got put on this weird topic channel, one of my random YouTube channels got put in the official artist channel. I don't know what's going on. So I do want to stress, I don't work for District Kid, but here's the situation as far as I understand it, because this actually did affect me. Short answer, as far as I understand it, what District Kid did is they took every request that's ever been submitted on District Kid to be in the YouTube official artist channel, they took every request ever submitted and resubmitted all of them to YouTube. This, again, as far as I understand it, this is the reason why, let's say you used to use District Kid, now you're on TuneCore, and all of a sudden, boom, you have this weird topic channel from District Kid. Like say you used to release music under a different artist's name two years ago. Now you use a, uh, another artist's name or a newer artist's name, but all of a sudden your old artist's name now has their own YouTube channel. Like say your music's now on weird YouTube channels or you have two or three different topic channels or whatever. This is the situation of what's going on. Again, as far as I understand it, District Kid resubmitted all the requests to go to the YouTube official artist channel program. The reason why is for the past year, I've gotten a lot of comments and messages of people saying, hey Mark, I tried to submit my channel for the, the YouTube official artist channel, but District Kid said, sorry, no, we're too backlogged or whatever. Basically they were like, look, it's we have so many requests to fulfill and you're gonna have to wait a little bit. So my guess is probably from District Kid's perspective, they're probably like, hey, we have so many requests People are complaining that they want to be in the OAC and get the cool little note check mark, but uh, all their system is backlogged. You know what? We're just going to submit everything. And as you can imagine, even though, again, as far as I understand this, I'm, I'm kind of speculating here and I'll give you a longer answer. But I think from their perspective, they were like, okay, because people are complaining so much, to make it easier for people and better for people, we're just going to submit everything. However, as you can imagine, this can cause a lot of issues. And this caused a good amount of issues for me. So going to like the longer answer of like the, the story behind what happened with me, give you a quick side note, and I promise you this is very relevant. I used to just have one channel, just Mark Vichero. Now I have five different YouTube channels, but back in the day, I had one channel for my videos and my music. In case you don't know, and this is the best way I explain it to people, I am both equally a YouTuber and a musician. I know some musicians, like say, have one channel, that has their music and their videos for me because I both equally post on YouTube and music in a sense, like I do both very equally. I realized, okay, you know, so I have one channel named Mark Fichero and I had my videos and my music and that channel I submitted into the OAC and became an OAC. However though, you know, like I said, I realized, you know what? It does make sense because I do both equally to have one channel just for videos, one channel just for my music in a sense, right? It's really you know, just a, a video, quote unquote, with a visualizer and my music. So I did is I contacted YouTube and I removed my main channel, Mark Vichero, from the OAC. In case you don't know, you can do that. It's not too complicated. You just have to contact YouTube and everything. So I removed it. So it kind of went back to normal, so to speak. Created a second channel just called Vichero, which is the artist name I released music under. I released music under my last name. And then I put that one and the OAC. So again, to recap, my main channel, Mark Vichero, was normal. I put it in the OAC, removed it from the OAC, created a second channel just for my music, and then put that one in the OAC. And for the past, I don't know what, three, four years, whatever it's been, things have been perfect. Until a couple weeks ago, until this situation happened, and unfortunately, this was during South by Southwest, when I was doing a lot of event coverages for a lot of different companies and everything. So I gotta say, it was the worst timing ever because I was out and I got an email from YouTube saying, hey Mark, we put you in the official artist channel, congratulations. And I'm like, huh, that's kind of weird because I never requested it in the past three or four years. And maybe it's a glitch and error, I don't know. Then all of a sudden, my main channel, Mark Vichero, turned into an OAC. So I had two. And it caused this weird glitch where if you went to listen to my music, it would either send you to my music only channel or my video only channel. And it was very random. Both of them were verified and had that note check mark. And I was like, 
what is going on? And all my analytics were messed up, which is very important when doing SEO for like South by Southwest and all these events. And I'm like, I don't know what's going on. And then years ago, in 2015, I did a collaboration with another artist called Night Bandit. I did take that song down. This is, again, years ago, almost what, like eight years ago. And for whatever reason then, YouTube created a topic channel for me called Fachero and Night Bandit and said every release I've ever released is actually not just by Fachero, it's a collaboration of me and Night Bandit. And I'm like, what is going on? So now in a sense, I have three different channels. Mark Fachero, which is somehow an official artist channel. Fachero, which is also an official artist channel. And then a third topic channel from a collaboration I did in 2015 that now has all my music on it. And somehow it's saying that, no, 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 these releases, all of my releases are not by Fachero. They're actually a collaboration with Fachero and Night Bandit. So I contacted YouTube, asked them what's going on. They said, hey, just letting you know, you know, I contacted YouTube first because I was like, that's the best way to kind of figure this out almost immediately. And they said, look, just letting you know, for whatever reason, DistroKid resubmitted your channel, Mark Vichero, into the, the official artist channel. Just letting you know, that's what happened. So it caused this weird glitch and all this kind of stuff happened. Contacted DistroKid and long story short, yes, like I said in the beginning, what they said, as far as I understand it, is they submitted every request that's ever been submitted in the official artist channel program, just resubmitted all of them to YouTube. And as a result of that, even though I think it was, I believe in 2018, when I first requested to be in the official artist channel program, 2018, even though I did that years ago and I removed myself from it, created a new channel, put that one in the official artist program, uh, official artist channel program and everything, even though this is pretty much all said and done with, because they resubmitted everything, they resubmitted Mark Pichero, and then it just cascaded from there, caused all these glitches. Luckily, now everything's okay. My main channel got removed from the official artist program for the second time. And then my main, uh, my music channel is just chilling. That's fine. And then luckily, that quote-unquote topic channel that just randomly got created, but luckily, that is gone as well. So everything is okay. But just to give you, again, kind of going back to like the short answer, the, the main point of this video, that is what happened with the Tisher Kid. They resubmitted everything, so this is why it might be causing you a lot of issues of, like, say you're having two or three different topic channels. I've had people hit me up about that. Or weird things happening with your channel being merged with the wrong channel. That can also happen, because like I said, you know, I mean, things change over time, like what happened with me. And even if you requested, with again, what happened with me, even if you requested to be in the official artist channel in 2018 or five years ago, they still would, they still did, excuse me, re-request that. So you may be wondering, okay, what do I do? First thing I suggest is contact District Kid. Just be like, hey, you know, um, I just saw that this and this happened. I just wanna let you know my music's in the wrong place. My, uh, my topic channel is the wrong one. My channel got merged with the wrong one as well, et cetera, et cetera. That's the first thing I do, depending on your situation, because once something like this happens, the the result of it in terms of all like the glitchiness so to speak you never know what's going to happen so let's say if it's like a weird topic channel situation whatever contact district kid the second thing let's say if the wrong channel did get put in the official artist program my best advice overall is actually to contact youtube it's very easy to do you can do it right in youtube studio that's what i did because i found that when it comes to district kid they kind of organize things and send it to different places but when it comes to getting removed from the official artist channel program I found I had to go through YouTube to do that, so that's what I personally did. All I have to do is contact YouTube. I pretty much told them what happened, was talking to their support team. They said, all right, just letting you know, if you're gonna remove yourself from the OAC, you know, you're know, you gonna lose out on these features. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'll do a, a separate video about this in the future. The OAC is a bit overrated. The only cool part is your quote unquote verified on YouTube. Besides that, from a YouTuber's perspective, all the analytics are horrible. I, I think it, I'll do a separate video on that, but the OAC is super overrated, being honest. The only cool thing, the only good thing is you get that note check mark, and yes, things get merged, so it makes it a little bit easier, but kind of overrated. But anyway, you know, if you do want to get removed from the OAC, like say if the wrong channel got verified, I'd suggest contacting YouTube, but yeah, that's what happened. I think that, again, I'm not bashing District Kid at all. I still love District Kid and everything. I think that, again, my guess is because they were so backlogged with, with requests, they were like, you know what? As opposed to just like having to manually go to each one and do it, we're just going to say submit all. And they took every single request that's ever been submitted 
and then resubmitted all of them to the YouTube official artist channel program.